Hello, uh, my name is Madeline. I've been writing publicly against trans extreme right activism for about a year now. Uh, my social media has my real name on it and my real picture. I'm not frightened to lose friends over this. So obviously I have made a few enemies over this. So I get all these people coming on social media saying to me things like, um, if you knew trans people, you wouldn't say these things. I presume you don't know any trans people. And I say, well, actually, I do. And I've known them for decades, um, since the 90s. But in those days, they weren't called transgender. You know, they were called cross-dressers, fetishists. Um, and you, they called themselves fetishists, cross-dressers, transsexuals, transgenders. And I've known them, they were um, homosexual, transgenders, and heterosexual transgenders. So I'll tell you a few about a few of them. So one of them, he was a good friend, and sadly I've lost him now, but he was a male to female trans. He told me about how he was in a woman's dorm in a youth hostel, and he was walking around naked. He's six foot four, walking around naked. He has a dick. So what woman do you know walks around naked in a youth hostel? They don't, do they? None that I know of, but he does. And he said, and the women in the hostel looked scared, and he thought that was funny. And shame on me, I didn't say anything back to him. This was a few years ago. Shame on me. Oh, no. Terrible. Oh, shame on him. Shame shame on him. On him. I should have said something, though. Thank you, though. Um, another male I knew years ago was a bunch of these Malaysian transsexuals, a big group of them. Uh, they, they were homosexual transsexuals. He was, he was a GP. When asked how he felt if he had to examine a woman's private parts, he said, Ew, no, I wouldn't do it. That would be disgusting. This is a doctor who finds women disgusting, putting women's health at risk um, because he doesn't like women, even though he wants to be one. He now campaigns, he's in a big pressure group, and he campaigns to pressure the NHS to partner with transgender lobby groups, this woman-hating transsexual. Um, I've known lots of the men in the 90s. There was a club in London called the Tranny Shack. Tranny Shack. Their words, not mine. Um, these, these men all loved it when they partnered off sexual with straight, married, cheating men. It gave them an absolute thrill knowing that they were getting one up on real women. They, we competed with each other to see if you get the most married men. Heterosexual trannies on the fetish scene, one, like they look at the cell rapturously in the mirror, saying viciously and narcissistically about how they're so much better looking and sexier than most of the women they knew. No one ever dared correct them. This was in the 90s. Um, I know a man who secretly goes to a dominatrix once a month for sissification and domination. He knows he's a man with a fetish. He then goes home and has to debate with his woke wife and teenage children. They tell him that trans women are women and they should have the same rights as women. He argues back and says, no, it's a fetish. But he can't tell them how he knows this. <laughs> yeah, you can't make the show, I know. I know a female to male trans person who's battling with mental health problems for years. She's in her 40s and now she thinks she's found the reason for her problems. She was born in the wrong body. She's had her breasts taken off and the hormones now. She has transitioned to a man and is more depressed and suicidal than ever. I used to date a man who cross-dressed when he was in 19 and 20s. Um, he was on the sort of goth and fetish scene. And him and his friends used to dress as girls, and the girls on the goth and fetish scene loved it. You know, and I dated a man that did that, but he never called himself a woman. He just called himself, you know, like a gender bender. That's it. I know, of, you know, I know of transsexual prostitutes. I just have loads and loads of examples of trans people. I know trans people, so don't tell me if I knew one, I would have a different opinion.
And it just shows I'm not living in a bubble of prudery and ignorance on the subject. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>